Hi guys, I wanted to show you how I've been crafting uh, Elder Stygian Visors for profit. And you want to start with a level 86 Elder Stygian Visors or above. Above 86 is fine. And uh, you want to scour them to make them normal. And then you want to catalyze them to 20% quality. The catalyzing doesn't really do anything anymore. It just uh, saves you money if you want to catalyze them later. You only spend 4 on each belt instead of 20. And once you have them 20% quality, you, you're going to alchemy them. And we want to go for any tier of life and any tier of max life. And then we craft elemental damage with attacks on the bench. This on average they, takes 5 pristine fossils. And uh, if all of your prefixes are full, you can just roll over because it's really cheap and just spam 5 more. On average, you will get it every 5. In this case, for example, we got uh, life, life, and uh, flasks. If you want, you can try to annul the third bad mod or prefix to suffix it. Uh, with Bistery, but it's probably cheaper to just keep spamming. And um, I'm gonna, uh, once we have uh, the three mods that we need, which is elemental damage with attacks, life, and life, we can craft elemental damage with attacks, by the way, on the bench. Uh, we want to do reforge more likely until we have something close to all three T1s. Even if they're not all T1s, it's probably gonna sell, even if it's like some of them T2, it's still gonna be okay. And uh, once we have a good prefix base, we're going to finish it with Harvest. I'm going to spam it and uh, come back when I'm done. Okay, I'm done uh, spamming the belts with fossils. And we got tier 7 life, tier 1 max life. And we're going to craft elemental damage with attacks. And the same for this belt. We got T71. It's actually the same. And we just craft elemental damage with attacks. And now we go on TFT and we're trying to buy more likely. Uh, want to buy... More likely. And uh, what we're trying to do is just uh, more likely rerolls the item and has a high chance of keeping the same mods. So we want to basically reroll the rolls of the prefixes. It will keep the max life, the life, and the limited damage with attacks most of the times. Sometimes it's going to reroll them. And. Uh, we're buying some from this guy. Uh, how much does you want? You want a 20C? <clears throat> More likely confirmed. And we got unlucky in this case, it just rerolled the whole item. And we go again. More likely confirmed. And we go unlucky again. Uh, but usually you will get uh, the mods that you have on the item. You will get them back most of the times. And I'm watching him. And uh, you just keep going and doing this until uh, you get the good base. And I'm going to show you, you on uh, Craft of Exile how to do it. Once you have a good base, let's say create a new item. And we have uh, a Jewelry, Belt. Let's say you have a Stygian Vise, Elder, Maximum Level. And we have it catalyzed for... Fertile, which doesn't really matter, but... Okay, once we have, uh, let's say, above... Like, let's say T1 um, or T2 elemental damage with attacks, let's say T1, with good life, 80 or 90, T1 or T2, and percent life. I crafted a few of these, and uh, it's not too hard to make them. It's actually pretty common. Uh, and once you have your prefixes, let's say your suffixes are full, like this. Uh, if your suffixes are full, you want to reinforce key prefix similar to the um, quiver. And uh, this uh, makes you able to craft uh, other prefixes if they're full. And you want to go in the suffixes and craft. Uh, prefix can be changed. And we're going to reforge uh, for speed. This will always force attack speed as the only um, 
is the only uh, speed mod. You could also reforge attack if you want, but most of the times you will project attack damage, and I think that uh, attack speed is better. But you, you have a choice. You can do attack if you want. Uh, you also have melee damage, so speed is like more versatile. Most builds can use it. So once you have attack speed, it's really easy. You just do cannot can have multiple crafted mods with previous cannot be changed, so that our previous cannot be touched. The only mod that can be removed is the is the attack speed, which we can always force it back with uh, uh, previous cannot be changed and reforged speed. And now we want to isling, and uh, having these two mods here makes the chance from uh, one in two if I only had previous cannot be changed to two in three, so it's easier to hit one of the uh, crafted mods. If you get unlucky and you remove the attack speed, you can always uh, previous cannot be changed and reforge speed again. Or if you already have the previous cannot be changed on, you can just uh, straight up just reforge speed because you already have the previous cannot be changed. Because if it removes this mod, the previous cannot be changed will still be on the item. And uh, once we have um, once we have the build suffix, we want to check what mod you don't want. Usually, uh, the best mods to block would be any hybrid uh, of um, strength int, strength dex, or strength uh, int. Because if we craft one of these, uh, let's see. Uh, I need to go up here to block. I'm gonna select exalts. I'm gonna remove these and. Uh, uh, I'm going to go in the crafted ones and I'm going to fracture the, one of these. So um, basically, as you can see, it will block three different mods, which is 1,800 weight, 600 times three. Uh, but you can also block regenerate energy shield if you don't want or regenerate life. If you need attributes, you can block these ones instead. Uh, it's up to you what you want to block. Or also this one is fine as well. But yeah, it's up to you whatever you want to block. Uh, let's block this mod, Regenerate Energy Shield. And uh, we want to remove the crafted mod that we have right now. And uh, we craft this mod on. And then we unveil. And uh, let's say you want attributes or whatever you want. You just craft it on. Uh, probably Resist is a better mod. And then you remove the last mod that you have and you just craft whatever you want. Uh, it can be some hybrid res or whatever you need on your build. And it's really easy. It's a six mod belt with high elemental damage with attacks, maximum life, percent life, which is a really good mod. It's it's like two points in your tree. And um, high attack speed, uh, some random mod that you really don't have uh, too much say in. Like you can kind of block some mods, but it's going to be a little random what you get on the fifth mod. And then the last one you just craft it on. And uh, that's uh, the belt done. They're really good. They sell for a lot. If you get it like to six mod like this, uh, I sold a few and uh, they're really good. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.